Hello everybody, Robert United Footer here and today it is time for another match day experience here on Robert United Footer channel. Over there we took on Norwich City at the UER Stadium and we lost 2-1 to Norwich which was a bit of a disappointing result over there against Norwich. Even though we played really well over there and Oli Rathbone scored for us, let's move on to today. Today it is uh, another away day in four away games now, nearly in a row actually. Tonight we travel down to Bramall Lane to take on Sheffield United versus Rotherham United at Bramall Lane today. This will be my second visit to the Bramall Lane Stadium and my score prediction. We need to get something out of this game to stop our losing run to an end. I think it's a tonight's score prediction. I think one all draw. I think Chivery O'Benny or Billy Sharp will score or even John Fleck will score. So Anyway guys, there's not going to be much happening in this video, we're going to go on coach from the dropping wall and the bridging today. So yeah, so anyway guys, uh, enjoy the video and I'll see you all in a bit. Peace out. Only a little bit sitting out from that, that's all. Yeah, about up to 10, up to 10 seconds. Three, two, one. number we are though?
four, John Fleck, coming on, and the 28, James McAtee.
Nice. That's it off. Same way back. If anybody wants to get off on the road, let me know. I'll stop. Same as when we've dropped off. We're going to go up through, past dropping well and up Thorpe Paisley and back to Barnsley. So if anybody wants to stop on and wants dropping off on road, just let us know. Hello guys, it's time to end this match day experience from last night. Well, we have won 1 0 at Sheffield United last night. Wow. The first win at Bramall Lane for the first time in 42 years last night. So let me explain how the night went last night. Last night we tried with a bridging code, so drop it and a bridging. We left at 6 o'clock. We went along Sheffield Parkway. And a lot of traffic about going to Sheffield, but when we got into Sheffield, it was chaotic. Tried to find a coach park, they shut Bramble Lane off the road, where we did last time. Unfortunately, we had to go through round the streets area. We didn't get in ground till 10 past 7. But anyway, I've got myself a program. Here it is. It's front of program and the back. So we're going round at 10 past 7 ish, which was ridiculous organisation for coaches last night. So, um, we're going around, watch teams warming up, listen to team rules announcements that day, players come out, watch players come out, I've read some minute silence, which you'll see on the photos, and what do I think to the match? I thought first half, both teams had really hard chances, uh, we managed to took the lead after 38 minutes by Ben Wiles, and... Uh, we got to one day at half time. We were a bit of a tough, snap, stroppy first half for Sheffield United when I've seen in first half last night. And then second half, it was nervous second half for us, for us United. I thought Sheffield United would have equalised. They were looking for a goal actually, and all. They did score an offside goal just before half time. I forgot to tell you that. So, yes. So, we had lots of substitutions as normal. And then when we got to 90 minutes, we had five minutes extra time. I thought, this is it. We're going to draw here. And saved it. 
Referee were good last night. And after that, whistle blew and we won. Yes, second away win of the season. I know I missed that one at Stoke a few weeks back, but I've now seen it at Sheffield United. Yes, so after the match, uh, we clapped them off. Lovely scenes on the video last night. And then after the match, we walked back to the coach. I was back in Rotherham for half past ten-ish. And I was home. Right then, guys, uh, next up for Rotherham United, it is a trip to Luton Town on Saturday at Kenilworth Road Stadium. This is our last game for four weeks because of World Cup break, what's, what's coming soon. So Premier League and Championship will be having four weeks break soon. So our game will return on 10th of December against Bristol City at York Stadium and the Premier League will return on Boxing Day. Right then guys, that is it for this video. Right then guys, um... Please, Please like, like and, and subscribe, subscribe to Rotherham United Footy. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all on Saturday when we travel to Luton Town for the final match before World Cup break. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time on Rotherham United for the channel. Peace out.